Good morning, good morning, good morning. I want to thank everybody for the birthday wishes for my son, Vernon. He just made 20. I've been had him since he was four. And he just now moved. He's 20 years old, getting ready for college. Going for a fireman. He's going doing positive things. As long as he's doing positive things, I'm good. Anyways, this morning is about friendship. A lot of people shut people out because they think everybody is bad. Everybody don't burn you. I don't had a lot of friends and associates. I mean, one close, close friend that has burned me. But you got to learn to forgive. No matter how bad the situation you think it is, it's not always bad. And you can't shut yourself completely down from everybody because one person burnt you, a second person had burnt you. Everybody is not the same. Hi, how are you, Miss Levi? And um, everybody is not the same in doing friendship. Everybody's not going to burn you. Everybody's not going to backstab you. Everybody's not going to talk about you. Everybody's not going to do the same thing. So you cannot put everybody in the same category of what someone else has done to you. It took me a long time to learn that. And my closest friend... I know. Yeah, I know. We all do miss him. That's why I put a slew up to him. Because he's my friend. He was a good listener. I enjoyed that. Missed that. He liked to dance and all that. Friendship is a beautiful thing to have. And it's good to have someone to be able to talk to. I tell my kids... Because I am their best friend. I am that someone that they can talk to. No matter what, they take out their frustrations on me and all that, that, but they take it out on me to a certain extent. Because I'm mama still, no matter what. And you still have to respect that. And my friend Tracy just lost her mom. I'm um, still praying for you too, Tracy, as well. And I'm going to be there for you as much as I can, as I told you. Friendship. People nowadays are really not really loyal to friendship. Friendship, to me, on my perspective, is being there for you no matter what. And you don't do that stabbing in the back, messing with your man and a woman or whatever you want to be whatever a person want to be that's their business I got nothing to do with that I know what I am I know what I like whether it's gay straight or whatever I love everybody no matter what color they are friendship is friendship you got to love a person for who they are you got to know their faults once you know their faults you know how far to go. You know what to let them know and what not to let them go. A lot of that stuff, you have to give it to God. A lot of things that goes on with me, I give it to God. I don't tell anybody. I just give it to God and let God handle it. But I be there for a person as much as I can. I do work. I have five children. That keeps me busy. I have my daughter, and I have my four sons, and I have all eight, no, ten of my grandchildren. I got two that's out of town in Louisiana, and one great-great-grandchild in Louisiana. I got one down there. So I tried to be friends. I tried to talk to them, but you can't turn your back on everybody because one day the person that is close to you, like I'm close to my children, I'm very close to my kids. The person that is close with you 
is not promised tomorrow. Not promised this evening. I'm not promised the next minute once I get off of Facebook. You got to have somebody else that you can talk to. You can bring all things to God and leave it there on there. But sometimes you need a life. That's a that's your spiritual person. God is. But sometimes you just need somebody here that you can talk to. Now, if someone talks to you and tell you, let's keep this between us, that's why I do it. I keep it between us. And if I ask them, I ask them can I use this up on my last talk? But I won't say their name. But they know who they are. I ask permission first before I do that. Because you asked me not to say anything. That's friendship. And then if you uh, you tell the person that you're praying for them, pray for them. Don't just say it. Do it. Be a door. It, you know, in the Bible it says, be a door to the word. Don't just say the words. Don't just read the words. You got to be a door to the word. I don't believe in all that backstabbing. I don't believe in that all that doing all that stuff. You know, a lot of stuff that people say. I just say the truth. I'm not finna lie for them. I'm not finna lie for my children. I'm not finna do all that lying because you got the one day somebody gonna come back at you and ask you, "Hey, honey, how are you? I miss you." Haven't seen you in a while. We had to get together. Um, you have to learn to look over some people's ways. I got some people that are, that I know, that are messy. I don't pay that no attention. Still love them. Whatever they do, that's their business. I'm just there for them. You got to have somebody. That's why God put us on this earth. We got to have somebody to talk to. Somebody to confide in. Somebody to ask questions. And when you tell somebody to tell you to pray for them, pray for them sincerely. Don't act like you're praying for them and you're not praying for them. Because sometimes I forget who I told that I'm going to pray for them. I say, God, you know who it is. That I told them I'm going to pray for them. So I'm praying for them now and their family. Sometimes I forget. So I just tell God, he knows who I told that. So he knows who I'm praying for. So, and even though I know don't, don't nobody's no fan of Donald Trump. But we still have to pray for him. Because, see, everybody has fallen short of the word. Everybody got a skeleton in the closet. Everybody have not lived right all their life. And you got to learn to forgive and look past their past. And you have to do something different. And I have friends. Sorry about that. Somebody was calling me. Um, you have to learn to look past people's past. Learn to look on people's good side better than their bad side. Outweigh it. And if that person is that bad, but you still love them, just feed them with a long hand of spoon and see them every once in a while and check on them. Make sure they're okay. Let them know that they're loved. God put us here to love one another, to help one another, not to fight, not to do none of that. Friendship is a beautiful thing. It's beautiful. And once you know God and God has touched you, I don't care what nobody say. It's hard to go back. Shirley Caesar said that a long time ago. And she right. You can't just go back to your ways. And I thank God for that. I'm not perfect. And I don't do everything right. 
But I thank God for every day. I thank God for my family. I thank God for my friends. I thank people for liking me. I thank people for not liking me. Because whatever God has for me, I'm going to have anyway, no matter what anybody says. So I don't pay that stuff no attention. Um, just learn to love everybody for themselves. Give love and love will come back to you. Feed your people. There's a lot of people that are out there as well. And I'm going to start doing this, not this Saturday, but the Saturday after. Everybody that knows where I stay is more than welcome. On the first Saturday of the month, from 1 to 5, I'm going to be passing out plates. Free plates, no money, home-cooked meal, and... It's whatever I have in my freezer. And if it got pork in it, I'll let you know. Because some people don't eat pork. And I understand that. But I'm going to be going up under the bridges. i got a lot of people that are homeless that's around here in the neighborhood. I'm going to be fixing plates from 1 to 5 and passing them out on the first Saturday of every month. I've been wanting to do that for years. God I've been laying it on my heart to do it, and I've been talking about it and talking about it. But God has blessed me with too much. So, I'm doing the dinners. It is for free to anybody. I don't care what you have, you have money or not. I don't care if you own crack. I don't care what you own. It's a hot meal. And it's for free. And if you know someone that needs it, and I can go and drop it off once everybody that came by from 1 to 5 on that first Saturday of the month. You can call me, 713-291-0942. And they can give me the address, and I will take it and drop it off. No charge. No gas fee. No nothing. Because God has done a lot for me, and I have to repay him. And God has been with me every step of the way. And this is something I've been wanting to do for years. I've been doing want to do this for years and years. But I'm only able to do this once a month. Giving away free plates of a dinner. I'm going to fix it because sometimes I work on Friday night. So I have to say 1 to 5 on a Saturday. The first Saturday of the month, I'll be passing out plates to any and everybody. I don't care who it is. And you can call me at 713-291-0942, and I will drop off a plate. I pass out all the food that I have, but I've been uncooked because I want to make a big part of it. Fixed all the plates, and they're going to be ready to go at 1 o'clock. If you stop by, I'm going to have somebody out there to pass them out, and they'll be gone. This is my way of giving back. Because God has given me so much. You have to give. You have to give. I can't beat God giving. But I sure can try. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Anyways. Peace be with you. Learn to trust somebody. But you do have to test them. To make sure they can be a friend. Me and Daphne have been friends over almost 40 years. May have our differences every now and then, but we're still friends. Elaine was my friend. We had our differences. She did some things that I didn't like, but I still forgave her. And I still love her like a sister today. Okay? So, y'all, that's Let's Talk Today. Learn to have somebody as a friend. And the most important thing is talk to God Get the most important things to God so he can handle it in his way. Don't go do evil for evil. Don't do all that backstabbing. Don't be trying to sleep with your best friend's man. You know that's her man. Let that man alone. 
Tell that man no and go and buy your business. Plenty of men out there. Plenty of men out there. Go somewhere else. I don't do friends. I don't do at church. I don't do the neighborhood. And I don't go and show don't do on the job. I don't do none of them. So when I go to work, I go to work. I'm not there for no man. In my neighborhood, I just feed everybody when I can. But on the first Saturday of the month, Joanna, the first Saturday of the month, I'll be making plates. I'm going to cook from 1 to 5. I'll be passing out plates. After 5 o'clock, I'm gone. And if someone calls me, say they need somebody needs a plate, I'm going to have them fixed to the side and drop them off. No charge. Okay? I'm doing it because God has been so good to me and he got so many blessings for me. Y'all, that's let's talk today and be blessed. Find a friend and learn to trust God in everything you do. Bye.